Hello and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I, my name is Monica Weitzel, and today we'll be speaking with the president of Mount Hood Community College, Dr. Lisa Scari. Welcome, Dr. Scari. It's great to have you on the show. Hi, thank you, Monica. You bet. Now, um, first of all, could you tell our viewers just a little bit about Mount Hood Community College? Yes. So established in 1966, Mount Hood Community College has been serving the educational needs of our district. 950 square miles from East Portland up to the mountain. We are the second largest community college in the state of Oregon, serving just under 25,000 students last year. We operate in three locations. We have our main campus on Stark Street in Gresham, our Bruning Center for Allied Health, which is just north of downtown Gresham, and our campus in Maywood. We have over 130 different programs from adult basic education to career and technical education, which leads to jobs, transfer degrees that meet university requirements, apprenticeship programs, and non-credit community education. Our mission is transforming lives and building communities, and every day we strive to meet the educational needs of our community. And I know that you've done a really good job of that, and it's a, it's a very valuable resource in the community. People really look to Mount Hood Community College as, as a, as a institution of learning it's also you know it's a place for people that of, of all ages to go to right it's not it's not just kids that have graduated from high school it really is a community a community college um, but you have to have been really majorly impacted by the COVID-19 crisis I mean all educational institutions have been so but I see that you're going to be opening up for your summer session on June 22nd is that right mm -hmm. that's correct okay. So how have you been able to um, adapt so quickly to be able to open up on June 22nd? And, and what are some of the things you've had to do to, to do that? Okay. So we did actually offer spring quarter. We delayed for a week, um, but we basically had to move everything online, right? Courses, services, even some of our student activities. And that was a total fundamental change in how we operate. But I have to say, our faculty and staff were truly amazing in their innovation and ability to make that switch almost overnight. And our students were equally impressive, right, and how they adapted to the significant change. Um, and, you know, we're a learning institution, and this quarter has been a learning experience all the way around. Um, but I'm really proud of how the college has stepped up um, to make sure that our students are successful. Wow. And as you mentioned for summer, um, we're currently working like all of us under the Straits framework for reopening. So we are at this point online for the foreseeable future. As such, um, classes will be online until a point when the restrictions are lifted. And then we'll be looking to see which of our classes we can potentially do in an in-person format again. Um, but, but at the end of the day, we're the safety of our students, our faculty, staff, and our community is paramount. So whatever we do, we will make sure that safety comes first. Yeah, it kind of has to, doesn't it? I, I, you know, I, I'm impressed with how quickly schools have adapted to this, to this change. And I think it's, it's going to be a huge stressor for the faculty and staff. But, but I think because they're so dedicated, they really, they really step up to the challenge. What about the other services besides the academic? You mentioned something about activities and, and, um, and some other services. What, what kinds of things do you offer at Mount Hood that you are still able to offer? So our student services have continued to do, they're doing online advising, um, online tutoring, online support. And they've even figured out ways, we have a food pantry that's quite successful, um, and they figured out ways to do pickups and deliver food to students who need it. And so they've really, I mean, it's been amazing at how they've really just transformed everything to online and figured out ways to still meet those needs. Wow. So it's been, been good. That's impressive. That's impressive. What, what has been the biggest challenge? I think just the, the short-term nature of flipping everything, 
<laughs> um, as we all know, right, we ended up in this situation pretty much overnight. And so, you, you know, you plan things and you think about how you do your work and, and almost all of a sudden you have to rethink all of it. So I think it's that adjustment phase. Um, and then there was also just some of the, the access to computers and technology um, for staff, but more for students. And we, because we had to close our computer labs in our library, which was a common place for students to go. And, um, you know, we were able to do some loaners. And then I need to give a shout out to our, the Mount Hood Community College Foundation. They really stepped up and gave the college some additional funds so that we could purchase computers for students so they could stay in class. That's great. That's really good to hear because that's, that's got to be the toughest thing when, when the students don't have access to to online services and, and training and teaching then you know they can't participate so that's good to hear yeah so is there anything else that we should know about what mount hood community college is doing either to keep their students safe or to you know keep them engaged what, what else should we know well you know we're just we're here and we're doing everything we can to continue to meet the educational needs in this new environment um, we will continue to find new ways to innovate and to um, make sure that our community's needs are being met. Um, so um, look for <laughs> us spring quarter and we'll be back in the fall as well. That sounds good. I think you have a cat there with you, don't you? I do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is the best thing about, about uh, interviewing people on there at home. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so I, I appreciate you coming on and, and telling us that. And I hope people remember the way that you have handled this when it comes time for another bond measure, because I know that's something you'll need in the near future. So, you know, I hope people remember that because you're doing a fantastic job. So thank you very much, Dr. Scari. And, um, Thanks for your insights and the terrific community service and um, appreciate it. Thank you, Monica, and thank you for having me on your show. You're welcome. And from all of us at Metro East Community, to all of you, be safe, be healthy. 